Demons are persons without a body. Satan has angels, and his angels are the evil spirits the Bible calls demons. They are the angels that follow Satan in his rebellion. They have three objectives. First, they want to torment and torture you. Secondly, they want to keep you from knowing Jesus Christ, the Savior. And thirdly, they want to keep you from serving Christ effectively. Satan and his demons are very real forces in the world today. But they are also forces that are under the authority of Jesus Christ. And as long as we too are living under Christ's authority and protection, we have no reason to fear them. Demons have many characteristics. They will entice you to do evil. They will harass you. They will torment you. They will torment you spiritually with negative suggestions. They will torment you emotionally with fear. They will torment you physically with all sorts of sickness. They compel by making us do things we do not want to do. Demons will make you their slaves. Demons will defile you. They will make you feel unclean. They project evil images and thoughts into your mind. Demons deceive. They are behind the false prophet in the church. Finally, demons will make you weak or sick and tired. Some demons are more aggressive, hateful, vengeful than others. And different demons affect the people they possess in different ways. Some demons attempt to hurt, to harm or destroy the person they possess. Some demons cause physical impairments such as dumbness, deafness and blindness. Some demons exhibit their supernatural powers through miracles. Some demons are a foul spirit. We read of these in Mark 9 verse 25 when Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene. He rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you come out of him and never enter again. Apparently, they are considered foul or unclean because they cause the people they possess to demonstrate immoral, perhaps perverse behavior and spew out foul, filthy language and obscenities. We know that demons oppose Christians. In Ephesians 6 verse 12 tells us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. That is why we are instructed how to resist these attacks in Ephesians 6 verse 13 through 18. The Bible says, Therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which we can distinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Demons may also spread false doctrine. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 1, the Bible says, The Spirit clearly says that in latter times, some will abandon the faith in following deceiving spirit and things taught by demons. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 1, the Bible says, The Spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirit and things taught by demons. They can create doubts, depression, temptation to sin. Satan will also try to destroy your body. In 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20, the Bible tells us, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore honor God with your bodies. He does this because your body is the dwelling place of God. It is his temple. Since God is spirit and cannot be seen, he is seen in our conduct and actions that either glorify or dishonor him. In Matthew 5 verse 16, the Bible tells us, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deed and glorify your Father in heaven. Satan attacks our bodies because they are God's weapons. In Romans 6 verse 12 to 13 says, Therefore do not let sin reign in your mortal body, so that you obey its evil desires. Do not offer any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourself to God as those who have been born from death to life, and offer every part of yourself to Him 
as an instrument of righteousness. The Christian life is predominantly about submitting their will to the Lordship of Christ. We do what we do because we choose to do so. But the goal of Satan is to control your will, which could bring devastating consequences for you and those around you. And he desires to control our hearts and conscience. When we are disobedient, Satan attacks our hearts and consciences. He does this by accusing us before God continually. In Revelation 12 verse 10, the Bible tells us, Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. He will attack us when we pray. There are times when obscene thoughts, forgotten sins will flash through our minds, distracting us from praying. This is why we must commit ourselves more intensely to prayer. We do not have to wait until God finally casts Satan and his angels into the lake of fire to experience victory over the evil one. We can resist him and his influence now because 1 John 4 verse 4 tells us, Your dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that Jesus died on the cross to take my sins and rose again from the dead. I confess all my sins and repent. Vengeance belongs to you, God, not me. I forgive everyone who has hurt me and pray for their souls because they do not know what they have done to me. In Jesus' mighty name, I transfer all pain, all betrayal, all rejection, any abuse and trauma, any shame and guilt, and abandonment to the cross of Jesus Christ. I let go of all anger, all resentment, hatred, any thoughts of revenge, and every malicious thought. Father, as I forgive them, please forgive me. I know that pride is an abomination to you. I renounce pride, rebellion, disobedience, stubbornness, and self-centeredness. I humble myself and come to you as a little child and ask for forgiveness and deliverance in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break and loose myself and my family from all curses caused by habits, by charms, by hexes, spells, jinxes, psychic powers, sorcery, witchcraft, love potions, psychic prayers, violence, any trauma, any physical bondages, any mental bondages, any incest, any abandonment, rejection, and divination in the family of my mother and father's side, going all the way back to Adam and Eve. I break and loose myself and my family from any vows I made, from any persons or any occult or psychic sources, and any demons coming through the bloodlines. I cancel all invitations made to unclean spirits tonight. Father, I break and renounce all evil soul ties that I have ever had with lodges, with fraternities, with any sexual partners, with close friends, with relative engagements, any cults, any occult objects, any doll and figurine, any junk food, any cigarettes, any drugs, any movies, any anime, any TV shows, computer games, gambling, pornography, masturbation, fornication, and circular music. I renounce all these ties and declare them destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce and break loose myself and my family from all other religions. I also renounce unbelief, any doubts, any lies, any fear, any hatred and anger. I bind and cast out all related spirits tonight. I renounce, I break and loose myself from all demonic subjection to my parents or any human being, living or dead who has dominated me in any way against the will of God. Thank you for setting me free. I command Satan to lose all natural resources, land and animals, any money, the finances of people who owe us money, and all the things we have stolen from my family that are ours through the blessings of Jesus. Father, please send your angels to bring these things back to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of Jesus, I am redeemed out of the hand of the devil and all my sins are forgiving. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses me from all sins. I am justified and made righteous, just as if I have never sinned. I am set apart for God. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I belong to Jesus now, body, soul, and spirit. His blood protects me against all evil. Satan has no more power over me. 
no more placed inside of me. I renounce all evil spirits completely and declare them to be my enemies. Jesus said, and this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. I am a believer, Father, and in the name of Jesus Christ. I am a believer, Father, and in the name of Jesus Christ. I exercise my authority and expel all evil spirit. I command them to live according to the word of God and in the name of Jesus. My Father in heaven, please send your Holy Spirit to fill me now in the name of Jesus. I ask for legions upon legions of angels from heaven in the name of Jesus to station around us. Angels of the Lord, at Jesus' command, attack every unclean spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind the principality, the powers and rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness, and all the strong demons in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all demons not to transfer, go exactly where Jesus wants you to go, and do not come back. I cancel all demonic assignments in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I separate every foul spirit from my soul in accordance with the word of God. I cut every foul spirit from me with the sword of the spirit. Unclean spirits, I command you to manifest and go out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons, I command you to come out of my mouth now in the name of Jesus Christ and never come back. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. I send Holy Spirit fire to burn you a thousand times harder than hell in the name of Jesus. I send Holy Spirit fire all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire from head to toe in Jesus' name. I send Holy Spirit fire all over the room, the floor, and the ceilings. Fire from head to toe in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil spirit that hears my voice, I command you to live there now. You do not have any legal right to be here. Every evil spirit that hears my voice, I command you to attack the strong man. Do not stop in the name of Jesus. I order civil war in the name of Jesus. Evil spirit attack each other in the name of Jesus. Destroy your own kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose burning judgment and destruction upon you in the name of Jesus. I command you to look at Jesus and do what he tells you to do. I cut all evil spiritual connection to this body and burn it away in the name of Jesus. I torment you demons and give you no rest in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, send power from the third heaven to destroy these demons in the name of Jesus. I trampled on you demons and shatter your being in the name of Jesus. I come against every unclean spirit by the blood of the Lamb. I am a child of God. My body has been sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I rebuke and cast out every unclean spirit to the pit and command them never to return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Warrior angels, hook into these demons and rip them apart. Send the demons to the pit in Jesus' name. Warrior angels, flog these demons and choke them out. Send the demons to the pit in the name of Jesus. Father, let the heaven and the earth bear witness to the prayer by the blood of Jesus that my children and my wife and I shall live and not die. Father, accept me now through the blood of Jesus who abolish sin by the sacrifice of his life. I bind, rebuke, and cast out every stubborn demon that will attempt to stubbornly hold on to my life in the name of Jesus. I come against every stubborn stronghold and command it to yield to the power of God in the name of Jesus. I put pressure on every stubborn demon and stronghold and break its grip in my life in the name of Jesus. I uproot every stubborn root from my life in the name of Jesus. I command every stubborn iron-like yoke to shatter and break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of every proud, every stubborn and arrogant demon that exalt itself against Christ and command it to be abased right now in the name of Jesus. I break the power of all iniquity in my family that will stubbornly attempt to control my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against all stubborn demons and break their influence in my life in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all stubborn, habitual patterns of failure and frustration in my life in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all stubborn Pharaoh that will attempt to hold God's people and I command you to let God's people go in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all stubborn enemies who stubbornly oppose me and my progress in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke all stubborn demons that will attempt to resist the power of God and authority I have through Jesus Christ, and I render you powerless to resist in the name of Jesus. I come against every persistent pattern that limits me 
and I render it powerless against me in the mighty name of Jesus. There is nothing impossible through faith, and I release my faith against every stubborn and abstinent demons, and I resist you steadfastly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I weaken, break down, and pressure every stubborn demon and stronghold. You are getting weaker and weaker, and I am getting stronger and stronger. I exercise long war against you until you are completely defeated and destroyed from my life in the name of Jesus. I lay siege against every stubborn stronghold through prayer and fasting until your walls come down in the name of Jesus. I use prayer and fasting to demolish all the gates of every stubborn stronghold in the name of Jesus. Let every Jericho wall fall through my praise as I lift up my voice as a trumpet against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every demonic stump be removed from my life in the name of Jesus. I break the will of every stubborn spirit I will attempt to remain in my life in the name of Jesus. You have no will to remain. Your will is broken, and you must submit to the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against all stubborn demon and stronghold in my family that I have refused to leave, and I assault every demonic fortress that has been built for generations tonight in the name of Jesus. I break your will against me in the name of Jesus. You are defeated and must bow to the name of Jesus. The anointing is increasing in my life through prayer and fasting. Every stubborn yoke is being destroyed tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, please make me a humble servant of people like Jesus Christ. I will push myself down so that you, God, can lift me up. Remove my human understanding and wisdom and fill me with your wisdom and understanding. I am a worm before you, Lord. In accordance with your word, my righteousness is as filthy rags. I cannot do good without you. Please have mercy upon me and help me change day by day to become more like Jesus Christ. I ask that you please send your ministering spirit to protect me and all the people and animals that will be sacrificed or cursed by occult practices. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose legions upon legions of angels to warfare, restore souls, protect believers, Stop us from believing and agreeing with lies and release breakthrough upon myself, my family, my friends, and the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I lose the Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of understanding and wisdom, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of God, and the spirit of adoption upon myself, my family, and the world. I invite your Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of power of love and of sound mind against the spirit of fear. Father, please pour out your Holy Spirit to convict the world of sin and to soften hearts to see truth. Above all, I pray for your will, Father, to be done on earth, even as it is done in heaven. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray tonight. Amen.